least I'll be the one to say it since y'all don't want to say it with y'all hypocritical ass. Bill was already bound to lose in y'all eyes before she even opened her mouth. She was already bound to lose with y'all. Like, no matter what that girl got on that song and said, y'all was going to say she lost because it's not the person that y'all like. Just like y'all did JT with the Sukiana thing. JT was bound to lose regardless because y'all don't like her. So y'all was going to automatically give it to Sukiana just because y'all don't like her. Y'all the same ones that when we found out that Drake allegedly sent cease and desist to motherfuckers, y'all was like, oh, Drake instantly lost because who sends cease and desist to people when it's hip-hop and it's rap and you supposed to rap getting the boot? But yeah, old girl just got on live and said that she was going to sue Bia for spreading rumors or lies about her family. And for the people that's like, well, she's only suing because she was spreading lies. Since when do we care about lies now? Since when do we give a fuck about lies? Like, let's just be real here. Y'all said it said that Remy ate Nikki up because she got on a track and spread nothing but lies. Each and every last person that Remy included in that lie has debunked it. But y'all didn't give a fuck about that. So now all of a sudden we care about lies? Now all of a sudden we care about lies being spread it on family? Now we care? Then you got people in the comments like, well, if I'm her, if I'm Cardi, I wouldn't respond. Why not? Why not? You like to see yourself as one of the top female rappers. Okay, get in the booth. Get in the booth. Y'all amped everybody up this year to get in the booth. That was the whole purpose of Lotto saying, bitch, do you rap or do you tweet? Get in the booth. Get in the booth. Y'all amped Ice Spice up to get in that booth. Hell, y'all even amped Sookie up to get in that booth. Y'all amped JT up to get in that booth. Bia had to get in the booth. Y'all was making post after post saying, Bia, get up, get up. Bia got up. And now y'all saying, if I'm her, I wouldn't respond. Why not? You are a rapper. We moving the goalpost again. And that's what I'm talking about. When y'all being hypocrites, we moving the goalpost. So she didn't lose, even though she threatened to sue somebody for a snippet. She didn't lose, although y'all was effing her up. And now that somebody done whacked her back, now it's I wouldn't respond. So she didn't lose for threatening to sue somebody. Then we got people in the comments like, well, who is Bia? Who is Bia? Y'all don't have to know who Bia is. The bitch she did not know who she is. The bitch, she did not know exactly who she is. She spent the whole line talking about her. She know exactly who she is. See, y'all can tell the type of motherfuckers y'all were. <laughs> y'all the type of people that need a peanut gallery to beep with somebody on earth out your issues with one person. I don't need a peanut gallery to beep with anybody. If I got an issue with you, you gonna know I got an issue with you. I don't need this person to back me up, this person to back me up, that person to back me up. I'm beefing with you and you know it. So yes, she needs to respond. Don't amp up anything else, not a verse, not a shot, not a nothing. Don't amp up nothing else that that lady says if she ain't going to get in that booth. Don't. Don't amp up a hot verse. Don't amp up a hot lyric. Don't. Because y'all love to boo the goalposts. Somebody have a hot verse? Cool. Drop a hot song about this bitch. She just mentioned your kids. She just mentioned your kids, both of them. Go get your lick back. Go get your lick back. A light, made up light tweet was posted about Nikki liking tweets about this girl's child. It was made up. It was false. And the girl ran up on Nikki at a Harper's Bazaar magazine and ended up leaving with a knife. This lady just mentioned both of your kids. Go get your lick back. The bars were there. The punchlines were there, and the person who she was dissing know exactly who she's talking to. Go get your lick back. Hickory dickory dock. The hypocrisy got to stop. It do. Because I can't with y'all. I can't. Y'all get on her making think piece after think piece. But when it's y'all fed, y'all always moving at goalposts, getting the boot. Getting the boot. That's what this whole year has been about. Getting in the booth. Rappers rap. Go talk about being a family, life, friends, all of it. Then, I, then there was people in the comments like, I just could never admit that I was talking about somebody in the group chat. Girl, the girl said that she hates the girl tattoos. That's as petty as we get. I don't give a fuck if she said that. 
Kendrick Lamar, y'all was just hyping up who just said that he hate the way Drake talk, walk, breathe, smell, look. And y'all was like, oh, 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 get in the booth. The girl just said she hate your tattoo. Get in the booth. Listen to me, no one has been hypocritical here. None of us has been hypocritical. Thing here is that rap has always been one-sided. You know, you have to pick a uh, favorite one. And if you don't pick a favorite one very quickly, you know what's gonna happen? Exactly what happened with Cardi B and BS situation. Why is she not upping her skill? I'm not supposed to do the backing up for her. She was supposed to do the backing for herself. If she did the best of 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 the work, I would be hyping her work. But instead, she's telling Cardi B about her chasing a beat, but she's doing the same thing. I like the things that she was rapping about, but the fact that she was off-tuned all the time made it hard to listen to. You know, it's like listening to Drake. Listening to Drake is very hard, especially with his new facade. It's very difficult. Why do I say it's very difficult to listen to Drake? It's because it's trying to pursue or persuade us that he's this macho guy. I like Drake when he acts like a nice guy because it suits him better. But this tough-eyed guy, this tough act that he's trying to put on, it doesn't look good. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Drake. Like... So for me, it feels like it's not giving energy. So it, it's not like I like, I listen to Bia's music, by the way. I listen to her album because I listen to Italian music. And also I found her with Stefan and she was there mixing with the Italian boys. She was there, you know, because I know who she is because she's, she's, you know, charting on the Italian market. She's there. I know who she is. And as a South African, I know who Bia is. I know her sound because I listened to her current album. Well, I'm lying. Maybe just one, but I listened to it. But she's charting. She charted for a long time on Italian music. So it, she might not be popular in the States, but the girl is busy. The girl is busy. She's doing her thing. And these Italian boys are listening to her. I got to even hear that people, Italians, are streaming her music. So I know who she is thing is that the fact that i know she has the potential to deliver which she did she writes her own pen and i feel like it's unfair to not give her the fact that she wrote that she wrote it we must give her credit for that you know she wrote it it's just that if you're gonna diss someone we expect you to bring your a game if you're gonna diss someone and be and talk in the end i don't like this talking thing it's very pathetic and very boring I like it when people just go on at each other like Kendrick Day did. Like he just went on. Like it was his, his intro. Like the superpower has been neutralized. I can only watch in silence. You know? I want this. I need the vibe. I need the rhythm. I need you to be in sync with the beat. That's what I expect from you. And that's exactly what we did not get from her. We got it from Cardi B. It doesn't matter if it's a remix. We got it from her. So it's not because Cardi B is a favorite. Maybe it is. Maybe I'm being biased. Kendrick is my favorite. Maybe I'm being biased. But really, come to think of it. So, um, do you rap or do you tweet? Get in the booth, bitch. And that's exactly what she did. Um, do I like it? No. Would I listen to it? No. But hmm, at least Cardi B's beef with her made her deliver. Sincerely. Cardi said, excuse me, Miss Ice Seasoning, since you want to be included in this conversation so bad, send me the pictures you took of us on your camera. <laughs> Chestnut checkers. And they'd be saying to me, oh, well, Cardi B is cheating. She shouldn't have said... I mean, that's Cardi B. Cardi B likes to sue people. I mean, we wouldn't expect that from Kendrick. Kendrick understands the game. 
can't be sensitive. Like the girl is sensitive as hell. She could have allowed her days to do the work, but instead she's gonna do what she does best because she is Cardi B being sensitive as a mother effer. She is. And if you don't agree with that, then something is wrong with you. Cardi B is sensitive. She's sensitive about her life. She's sensitive about her marriage. She's sensitive about everything around her. She is sensitive. And it goes to say about all these celebrities, they are not as tough as they look. They break easily. And you go towards them, they be bound to break at any time soon. And they're never too shy to even hide from that. Nicki Minaj included. Drake also included. JT included. Sukiyana also included. I did not like her this. I found it funny. I did not find it a diss. I found it something very funny that you can laugh at as like a joke. She was teasing her, you know, mocking her. That was not really a diss. I found, in my opinion, if you asked me, I did not feel like Sukiyana this qualified to be called a diss. It felt like it qualified it to be a song that you just have fun with. That's what it seems like to me. But I digress. It's an arguable debate that you can even argue yourself. But we expense, we expect punchlines. I mean, hey, you're not, a, you're not a city girl. You're a shitty girl. Is that a diss? With a catchy beat? Is that a diss? Like, no, please tell me. I'm curious to know. Yesterday, Bia took to IG live stream to play her diss track against Cardi B. Now, I'm not going to play the diss track, and it's not because of copyright infringement. It's simply because it sucks. Something about dissing a bitch, but the diss being hot doo-doo funk is some shit that I don't like. Bia might have just solidified that being your own writer is quite literally one of the worst things that you could do. But Bia, put... Put that one back. Put it back. Child, this shit has to be fucking embarrassing, bro. I don't think this diss track is being received like she expected it to be. You know, it's sad when Sukiyana, cocaine diss track, hits harder than your shit. And you a rapper rapper, bro. Sukiyana just do this shit for fun. When cocaine hit harder than it, or you ain't no city girl, you a shitty girl, and your man wanna come to the kitty world. <laughs> when that shit hit harder... The, the whole entire fucking song like no quotables none like you can't recite any lyrics or punchlines in that fucking track unless you go back and like re-listen to it a million times but still then it's not even fucking memorable this is fucking embarrassing my nigga when sukiana out raps your ass and you a writer and a rapper that's crazy i'm gonna be honest i like cardi's don't nobody want to be up better than her hold this 2024 may not have the Wendy Williams show, but we got Cat Williams sitting on the club Shay Shay couch, dropping tea. And everything been in havoc since. This like our 10th rap beef already, and we only in June, but let's get into it. When I heard the mad because she can't catch a beat line, my immediate thought was you can't catch this one, so you're twins. I feel like if you was going to insinuate the way in which Cardi got in her game, you should have came with receipts so you can state facts of how she got into her game. That's my opinion, though. The one line that don't sit right with me is that got a dark soul. Because I took it as you talking about yourself being you followed it with got a bright future. Because why your future bright with a dark soul? Enlighten me. I thought the outro like was definitely like one of the best things about the song. But it was given childish. Like we talked about you in the group chat. We don't like your tattoos. Now when she said you look dirty after the bath. <laughs> that was funny. But overall like that was the best part of my opinion. Cardi, I just want to know what you did to your body because I did see a video recently and why would you do that? Why would you Why would you do that? Nothing she said about Offset really moved me and when she made the money reference, it only made sense because they don't have a prenup, so obviously her money is their money. Talking about how she has a writer, everybody knows that, that wasn't T, but you know, that little line where you was like, you want to be part of the culture and ride the wave, I was like, ooh, because you know, Cardi don't play about her kids. Overall, it's a cute diss. I mean, I think it was corny for her to release it on live and not drop it as an actual song. But I was expecting. Imagine being upset with a bitch with no 
driver's license. Bragging you wrote your own songs when your pen is giving leapfrog is crazy. Because you could have left this alone, Caillou. That's dangerous because she don't have to pull up in her car. Okay, people that have to drive, you know, it dies down a little bit. She's pulling up on the train. Little Miss Bodega sounded like she rapping at a PWI talent show. Girl, please. Some of the rap girls that love Nikki got to remember, y'all ain't got no pen game. That means she is ready. She's upset that whole rap. Somebody that bumped into her. She is ready. She's going to beat your ass. I am away on P. Oh, you know what that means? I'm not paying attention to this shit. She can talk about everybody. She can say whatever. She can be for whoever she wants. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, she can get in that studio and go crazy. This bitch ain't dropped the album in 15 years and still got these bitches upset. Hey, y'all cannot. It is sometimes sis stuff out, okay? You can't be like your idols all the time, okay? Some people won't go to space because they idol went to space, okay? You ain't gonna make it to space. You gonna choke, okay? And I look online and I wake up to be a drop in a horrible, horrible, be a, be a shitty, shitty. Imagine not dropping an album in 12 years and bitches being bothered by you every time you drop a single. You ain't gonna make it, okay? And right now you choke, you ain't making it. We are coming up on the 40th anniversary of the last time she dropped an album and these hoes is still up what i'm saying about ba is that the this could have done much better than that than that it could have had much more work and depth than that it's funny but it doesn't be like punchline it doesn't give that punchline that you need from a this i expect a punchline i expect like oh my god oh there's a punch I listen to that and most of the time she's I'm like okay catch it bit get catch get, get it girl uh, it's a fall for me and not because I don't like her I know her I mean I know that she's busy that side in the Italian market that's why I tell people that you know I know her but are you saying that she can do much better than what she delivered that's all oh what did you expect us to lie did you expect us to lie or what?